Hi everybody, this is Sandra coming to you with a, another online haul. <laughs> yeah, they keep coming. Anyway, Hi, welcome back to my channel. So Oop, I'm sorry, let me turn <laughs> down my TV watching YouTube videos. <laughs> so, how's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are doing well, um, trying, trying to stay cool. It's very hot here in California. I don't know, I think it's supposed to be like 80, upper 80s. Yesterday was real hot. But, um, yeah, today, yeah, it's hot. I don't know, what. let's see what it is. It's hot, but I don't feel like it's as hot as yesterday. It's 79 degrees. It feels like it's hotter than 79 degrees. But yesterday, it was, it came to be like 96, so it was... It was really hot, and then tomorrow's supposed to go down to uh, 74, 75, 74, 74. These are all through the week. Um, Friday, 74, Saturday, 75. So and it's going to be hitting the mid-70s uh, for the rest of the week. I mean, you know, for a week. For the week. Five days out. Seven days out. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to get to this. I was going to do my Fab Four less um, unboxing, but I think I'm going to do that Saturday. Um... I'm doing this kind of late because I had to work. I had to do an online class um, to teach us how to use this new system that we're going to be using. Because I think I'm going to go back to work. Um, they asked if, it, if asked us if we were comfortable with coming back to work, um, those of us with uh, underlying conditions. And a lot of people that have underlying conditions are still at work and <laughs> kind of feel left out. Um, I don't know. I'm going to check out how things go with all this protesting and Memorial Day and people not social uh, social distancing. I'm going to kind of test the waters and see what happens from now until July, the end of July. And, um, you know, and then we have a research. Kind of, I don't know. I don't know what to think, you know. Um, but I, I think like maybe mid-July, I'm going to see how things go. And... Yeah, then I will return to work. Um, again, my thing is, uh, anyway, I'm not going to get into it. So, um, just put it this way. People aren't social distancing and they're not wearing masks. So, I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know what, to, I don't know. Because it just annoys me when I go to places and people don't realize it's not for you. Because putting a mask on doesn't prevent you from getting it. It's protecting you from giving it to others, and it just annoys me when people don't wear a mask, then they want to chat with you, you know, it's just like, anyway, let's get past this, I'm going to get on into the video, or into the haul, and y'all, I love these little bags that I get from Shein, Alicia comes to get her mail, my cousin, she comes to pick up her mail, and I put in one of these bags, and um, it's just so helpful, like to put mail and, you know, just different things you want. It's just nice storage. <laughs> so I like that. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one. I think this one may be a mask that, it, no, oh, no, this feels like jewelry. <laughs> so we will open this. Who is this from? It doesn't really say. It's just kept sorting center. I don't know where that is. Um, so, let's dig into this one. I know I've been ordering a lot. Oh, this is Shein. I mean, uh, this is Wish. I've been ordering a lot of things. I'll have to pick that up later when I'm off. Um, ordering a lot of things on Wish that are finally starting to come in. And it's weird because you pay separate for shipping, but yet they bunch everything. And why? Why did they give me three of these? <laughs> one, two, three... Four. I don't understand why Wish does this sometimes. It's like they give me multiples of things that I ordered only one of. I mean, I can always give it away. Um, little birdie pins. Can't believe. Oh, they sent me three. But still, I only ordered one. I don't understand you guys. I'm sweating like a dog. So anyway, these are the pins I was telling you guys about how I wanted to. Um, they're bluebirds. If you can, well, let me take it out of the bag. I wanted to uh, start a jacket and put the pins on them and collect them. I just think these little, I guess they're enamel and metal pins. And it's a little bluebird. Isn't that cute? <laughs> just my own little thing. Um, yeah, so that's that. That took forever. 
I have a bunch of them coming in, and they just they really take a long time with Wish. And again, it's come from China, so that's understandable. And for my next package, uh, oh, earrings. Oh, these are the cute ones. I really like these. I don't remember the prices on these, you guys. Um, you'd have to go on the Wish app to see. And it's funny because sometimes you can go on there and see one seller selling the same exact thing for one price. And then you'll see it, you know, a couple scrolls up for, you know, another way cheaper price. Um, you know, I typically don't go over, you know, 2 or $3 on anything. So these are really cute. Oh, my gosh. These are so adorable. So they're just a little tortoise earrings, loop earrings that hang. Very nice. That's the clasp on it. Let's see, you want one of those where it just goes into the little hole like that. Very cute. Oh my gosh, I love them. So they're on gold and uh, gold tone and tortoise. So that's that. Isn't that pretty? I love tortoise, you guys. And my next package here. Sorry for the glare, you guys. I got the sun coming in. I just remembered I wanted to do this haul because that's how I was thinking about it. And I'm like, I keep doing these long videos and I don't want to make them that long. So I don't want to do the Fab for Less and my other Shein and Wish stuff. So I will spread it out and do my uh, Wish stuff today. So, and then Fab Fit Fun, either Saturday or Sunday. I've been getting these little videos out. Oh, this is the one that is a record. I like this one. It's kind of retro, vintage, kind of be looking record. Who remembers records? <laughs> and it just says, music, please. So I thought that was really cute. Yeah. It's a couple of them that I ordered that I didn't get. And I'm really mad because, they're oh, well, hopefully they'll be in this bunch. It's funny. They take so long. And then they want you to, you know, they'll email you and say, have you received your package yet and I'm like well I don't know y'all ain't sent it I mean well no they'll ask if I receive my package but then they're the ones that's taking forever and then when I get them I want to hold on to them for a video and then so they'll send me notes or emails or text <laughs> you guys I'm so high look at that and um you know, I wouldn't update it yet because I wanted to hold on to them for a video. This one's cute. This one, it says, send noodles. So if you're a noodle lover, I'll probably give this to my cousin. She loves noodles. <laughs> I have another one that was like with chopsticks that hang over on a chain. It's really cute. But anyway, I think I did show you guys those. But anyway, it says send noodles. And it's just a little bowl with the chopsticks hanging out. I thought that was cute. And my last wish bag. The wish is starting to come a lot now. I don't know what's in the mail. I didn't go check the mail yet today. So uh, could be something in there. Yeah, I'm looking for there's one is a little VW bug and a bug ban. And I ordered that a long time ago. And I want it reminds me of the Scooby Doo van. And I ordered it a long time ago and I haven't gotten that yet. That's what I really wanted. Okay, so this one is a cassette tape. Of course, we all remember our cassette tapes. Uh, this says best of the 90s. Yeah, those are some of the best times, 80s and the 90s. So, can't really see where it says. Oh, there it goes. Best of the 90s. That's really cute. So, yeah, this is kind of like a retro one, too. And this one was a double, oh, this one I ordered for my sister because my sister is a crafty person as well. Um, and it just says crafty, B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> so, yeah, I ordered this for me and then I saw it and said, oh, I got to order my sister. You guys, please forgive my nails. Honey, hunty, my nails are looking toe up. I put nail polish on and didn't realize I ain't got no nail polish removal. And then I go to the Dollar Tree 99 cent store. They don't have any remover. So I'm just like, really? So now i got to have this crusty stuff on my nails. Or what I usually do is I'll get something uh, like a sander or something to kind of scratch them off. But yeah, i got to do something with that. Anyway, all right. So on to the Shein. Um, missing one thing that I ordered from Shein. I'm kind of annoyed by, but hopefully it is on its way. 
Yes, this is what I was missing. <laughs> That's exactly what I was missing. I was like, I know you guys didn't. They had free shipping too. I was like, uh-uh, I'm not ordering nothing else until y'all give me what is mine. And so now it's finally here because they sent all the stuff they said was coming one day, like two weeks ago. Everything came but the dress, but they didn't say anything about it. And then I went on there and it said, okay, two orders is coming, two separate orders. What is this? <laughs> they give me an eye mask. I didn't even know this came with it. This ain't gonna fit my eyes. The heck is this? This is not gonna fit my eyes. Anyway, so it is a strawberry. I hate strawberries, but I thought this was really cute. And it's just, you know, since I'm be working from home for another month and through July, which is probably the hottest month of the year. Anyway, I ordered this and it's just a little nightgown. Just a little house dress to put on and it says strawberries I hate strawberries you guys cannot stand strawberries cannot I can I'm sorry about that cannot stand strawberries but I thought this was cute <laughs> I wish they had a cherry one because that's my last name but yeah that's that and it's just like a little night shirt a little house shirt or whatever just something cozy to wear around the house because it gets hot in the summertime. It gets a real hot. It's hot now. It gets worse. Especially when it starts dipping into the hundreds and we start having our little heat waves. California is very dry. Um, we do get our tropical heat. But for the most, California is very dry. We get a lot of fires. A lot of wind. Um, we're desert. You know, basically, California basically is a desert. And trust and believe in the summer, it feels like that. On to the next item. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what this is. I know I made a couple of orders. Try not to touch my face. What I need to be doing is I put this here for a purpose. Purell wipes. You guys, I used to be a couponer. And man, I went through my little storage closet and I found Purell wipes. This wipe, that wipe. I'm like, what am I trying to look for wipes in the store for? I got wipes here, but I'm going to have to wipe them again after I open this up anyway, but I just wanted to get a good wipe in right now. Pick that stuff up in a minute. So, I, let me see, what is this? Let me open it. Oh, I remember this. So, I wanted some little comfortable shorts to wear around the house, and so I ordered these. Oh, those are big, but they're going to be so comfy. Got these on Shein, and it's cow print. This came really quick, because I just put this in. And this is kind of like a silky, I don't know what kind of material this is. It looks like it'll bleed, though. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. But um, let's see. This material is a polyester spandex, so that's perfect. Stretchy. Now, the polyester, it might not breathe as well as cotton, but... I mean, they're still really big, and they'll fit loose, and yeah, that's what I need, comfort, comfort. That's one thing I struggle in the summertime with, is wearing comfortable clothes during the summer. Now I can get rid of some of the other things that so-called was supposed to make me comfort comfortable uh, around the house. Like, I'd have clothes that's, like, thick or whatever, but then I would end up having to lounge around in pajamas, and I wouldn't have to do that all the time. Oh. Save my Shein bag. And the last thing I got you guys is another lounger. And actually, it's not a lounger. Well, I'm, I'm going to lounge in it. But it's a nice little yellow striped dress to wear around the house. I'm sorry. Dress to wear around the house. This is really cute. The color is really cute. I love it. So this is something I'll just be wearing around the house, you know, just to be comfortable. It's probably going to be a little tight. I can tell by the material. See, and like I said, Shein is really hit and miss. Some things I can buy one size and it's small. Some things I can buy one size and it's way big. And some things fit, you know. But this, um, you know, might be a little snug, but I'll be in the house. So I'm not worried about it. Um, very pretty. Very pretty. I love the color, the yellow. I love yellow. Purple's my favorite color, but I, I do like yellow as well, especially for summertime. So, yeah, this is okay because um, I am going to be doing 
Um, I've been doing keto the whole time, I mean, intermittent fasting the entire time that I have been home. Um, and trying to get in my water. I had to order one of these because that big old water bottle just wasn't working for me. But I had to get one of these and I could just soup this down in no time. I know I should have at least been down here or whatever. It's about three o'clock, four o'clock. I should have been way down here. That's all right because I can guzzle water really fast and wipe that out, um, which is what I'm going to have to do. But um, what I'm going to be doing, you guys, and sorry for the shaking again, but what I'm going to be doing, you guys, is um, I'm going to be doing plant-based every other day. I'm going to start something new. Um, you know, my niece has been having this chef, not a chef, like someone that does like keto meals or whatever. They've been giving her the menu and like uh, recipes on how she can make them at home. And she's kind of inspi inspiring me. Um, you know, to do more of that. I have tons of vegetables. I have um, the bok choy. I have squash my neighbor just gave me. Um, tons of spinach. I just had a spinach uh, smoothie. Um, kale. I have all these vegetables. So tonight, um, I already cut up my bok choy. I got to cut up my onions. Um, I'm going to do a stir fry with that. And then I'm going to um, do some of the yellow squash. Uh, fry up some of the yellow squash and have that. Um, no meat tonight. I did have meat this morning, but I think tomorrow, um, you know, I'll have my plant-based um, at noon and then I'll eat. And then that's another thing. I want to push in my hour to, to one and not eat from, it used to be from 12 to eight. Now I'm going to push it from one to seven. Yeah, one to seven. I'm closing that gap. What I'm trying to ultimately do is become OMAD, one meal a day. And I want to get the keto down. That is when I was shrinking down. That's when I lost the 20 pounds in, what, two and a half months. That's when my um, A1C was good. If you have diabetes, they control that. By, or they um, do a blood test and they do like an average on your blood within a three-month period. And it should always be under, I want to say, six. Mine went up to like eight. And when I went on the um, intermittent fasting, uh, no, mine was nine. And when I intermittent fasting, it went to 7.5. And then Corona happened. And I just started buying whatever I can get to pile in my refrigerator. And, you know, to me, I think mainly it's like emotions and boredom. I'm so much fo more focused when I'm at work. I used to think that I'm more focused at home. I was because I was able to leave my house and I would be able to, you know, go sourcing for my Poshmark and I would just stay busy, busy, busy and, you know, go to my sister's house, working on crafts and I was always busy, busy, busy. But being home all day and you get bored and you start snacking and I started buying snacks and you know not too bad of snacks like I'll buy pe peanut butter is my worst enemy because I love it so much so I can sit there and eat a jar of peanut butter in three days so anyway what I'm gonna do is I told myself okay I'm gonna I really need to be strict about this because you know African American people are being hit hardest by this coronavirus and we are dying more of the coronavirus. Um, I don't see coronavirus being, with <laughs> with the, the way things are going, I see corona is gonna be here for a long time. So I can practice what I'm gonna practice. I can't depend on other people. I have to do something about me, about my health. I have to take control of this. I have to control what I eat. I have to control losing weight. I have to control my life and my, nobody, Obviously, if you don't wear a mask, you don't give a crap about people because wearing a mask shows that you care about others. If you don't wear a mask, that is you. You don't care about people. You are killing people. If you don't social distance, you don't care about people. You are killing people. You are killing people if you don't wear a mask. I don't care who it is. So I have to take. I have to take control of my life, and that's what I'm going to do. I, you know, enough is enough. Um, I have to do my part in taking care of myself. And so, because nobody else obviously gives a crap about people that don't want to get it. And I'm not saying everybody. I know the majority of us are doing what we're supposed to do. That's great.
But those that don't, they're selfish, and all they care about is themselves and what their health is, and they don't give a crap about anybody else. I'm sorry. If I lose viewers, then I lose them. You don't care about nobody but yourself if you don't social distance and you don't wear a mask when you go out. Period. Now, um, so what I decided I'm going to do is every other day I am going to do a plant-based diet where it's just everything that grows. I mean, no, it, not everything, but anything that grows is a plant, basically plant-based so if I fry something, it's going to be with uh, coconut oil. Um, and it's just going to be vegetables, uh, fruits, tons of blueberries. I have tons of blackberries, um, avocado. Um, there's so many things that you can have um, doing plant-based. And I'm just going to kind of test the waters and see if I can do it. That's my whole idea of not doing a plant-based diet is figuring out what to make. Now, I have the chicken and the fish and all that stuff in my freezer. Um, every other day, I will have those things. But, um, you know, as far as plant-based, that's what I'm going to be sticking to. Basically, it, well, plant-based and keto. Okay, so on certain days, I'm just going to have everything plant-based. And then the opposite day, staying within still the low-carb, and then the opposite day, I will be doing keto, if that makes sense. And um, I don't have a scale. I don't own a scale. I don't want to own a scale anymore because I lived by the scale. I lived by, you can go and diet or whatever, and the scale literally will go up. You can lose weight. Like, well, I'm not going to say. You can lose fat and your weight go up. You guys know that. You guys probably heard it all. Um so I decided not to let the scale dictate what's going on with my body. You know, what I do is when I'm ready and I go to the doctor, get my blood work, that's what I'm focusing on, my numbers. Um, yes, well, I'm concerned about the weight, but that will come. If I stay in line and do what I'm supposed to do, that will come. I need to utilize more. I have so many stretchy, I have the little five pound weights, I have the stretchy things, I have all the, I mean, it's, I'm sorry you guys, I don't mean to <laughs> interrupt you, literally, like, I, I would say probably every two hours, the FedEx truck comes, UPS truck, truck comes, Amazon, and they always, I mean, okay, yeah, I get a lot of packages, <laughs> but they stay across the street, I mean, one time the UPS uh, truck pulled up, that man was out there with dollies, bringing things up there. Now, just now, I just saw the UPS, UPS guys over here, and FedEx is here, and they both just cut it and went over there. I'm like, I thought I was bad. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, yeah. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to put my foot down, and I take control of this as best I can at this end. I have to take control. And I urge everybody. I mean, I know there's already be I know there's a lot of people on YouTube that are doing what they're supposed to do. You know, they're getting in gear and they're trying to take control over this whole thing. And I'm finally jumping on the bandwagon. I know early on I said, you know, I started the intermittent fasting. It worked, you guys. It did work. And I'm going right back. It's all here to do any change of anything in your life to form a habit, any of that, it all has to start here. And the Rona messed it up here for me. So that's why it, you know, it just kind of made me jump off that bandwagon. I was stressing, my emotions, my anxiety, all that stuff just kind of knocked it all out the park. So I'm back. Um, I want to take control of this. I want to get into a good habit, especially because I want to return to work in July and be able to work on myself and be better at better health. Going back to work, build my immune system, be stronger. I need to get more into my gut health too. I have the little, all the bands and the little weights and all that stuff. I'm going to be working out in the house now. I do want to get out and start walking again. If I do, I have to do that before eight o'clock in the morning before I start work because I have to start work at 8 to 5. Um, so I do want to see if I can, Oh, I hate getting up early. I want to see if I can get up early in the morning and do at least an hour, like get up like 
maybe 6.30 and get out there and walk for an hour and come back, <clears throat> excuse me, itchy throat, on time to uh, be able to work. You guys, I am at 45 minutes. Did not meet, mean to uh, go this uh, far, but you guys, thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening to me and my plan. Thank you for um, watching my little haul. Um, yeah, I love Wish, but I kind of put that on the back burner, especially when I started the diamond painting. I had to st <laughs> I had to put the phone away, take the apps off. I didn't take the apps off. A couple of them I did, but... I really need to start focusing on, um, you know, I've been saving, oh, let me tell you guys, I don't know if any of you guys have been saving tons of money since this has all been happening, and, um, oh my gosh, and you know, since it happened around tax time, so I didn't have no plans for it, stuck that in the bank. Um, a couple other things from, you know, when my mom passed away, um, I've inherited money in certain different ways, stuck that in the bank. I, I, I mean, I'm home, so what is there, you know what I mean? So um, I do want to save, and, um, you know, just, I've just been like, money ain't nothing, especially in the beginning. I was like, I ain't thinking about money. I'm just thinking about survival, you know, but, um, yeah, so I, I don't know. It just seems like it's so much easier to save, <laughs> And Lord knows gas, not having to put gas in the car. I'm so sweaty. But anyway, you guys, thank you for joining me. Um, and I will see you guys again Saturday when I do my FabFit Fun box. That's going to be fun. My niece and my sister said they love the box. And so I will be sharing that with you guys on Saturday. All right, have a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoy um, the rest of your day. And I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful day and stay safe. Thank you. Bye.